the question is about your having confidence to let an actor's face stay in the shadow. Uh, and I think that's a really interesting point. It's not just the decision to do it, but the confidence to make that decision. Um, actors want to be seen, you know? Huh? <laughs> like, directors want to see actors. They pay a lot of money for them, and they want them to be seen. And I think there's a lot of situations in Dune where it's so dark that you, in some cases, can't even see the faces. I'd love to talk to you about that. How that decision was made. Um, and maybe a little bit about the confidence it takes in a director of photography to do something like that. Sometimes there, there's an issue. Audiences are very um, savvy visually, I think. Like even people of an older generation, like my, my parents' generation, I think even though they don't have the Instagram and they don't have the, all, all the social media, they are very savvy when it comes to, uh, to visuals. They don't know what they don't know. They don't understand why something doesn't feel right or what doesn't look right. So therefore, I would hope that I am the visual, sorry, the conscious conduit for their unconscious visual path. When we're sitting in an environment, we're trying to create a mood. That mood is as big a part of a character as the, the character itself. You know, like if you've got something important going on, that needs to be underplayed. I mean, look at The Godfather. I mean, look at Marlon Brando, like in The Godfather. Yeah. Like, look at the darkness in the eyes. I mean, imagine if he were sitting in front of a refrigerator and, like, brightly lit, like looking like you and me right now. <laughs> yeah. it, you, you, the believability factor would just disappear, you know? I mean, still be Marlon Brando, still be an amazing performance, but suddenly, like, you're not as immersed in the characterizations. So I, I think having the confidence to know that your characterization and your your darkness is going to be helping uh characterization at times i mean i would also hope that that it's not oppressive darkness too you know there are times where you've got a little glint in an eye that's creating darkness but enough to see and feel into a character now that's obviously a debate isn't it it's obviously like a a, a debate where someone can go "Mm, not enough or too much and i have it all the time you know with with the director if you're standing on set looking at a monitor and you go, I think that's a bit too dark. What do you think? They go, yeah, a bit more fill in the eye. Suddenly fill in the eye can help, but it can also change the mood and change the, the tone of the scene. Yeah. So it's, it's like skirting a, a fine line between being uh, t- helping the scene feel a certain way and, 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 and helping it be distractingly dark. To that question about confidence, though, are you in situations where – People are saying, you know, I think it's too dark, and you're saying, no, this is this is the right thing to do. It's like, do you ever feel like you're, um, I don't know, kind of those debates on set, like you said, do you ever feel like you're the one pushing for the darkness? Thankfully, I'm surrounded. I've been able to be working with directors who have a very, very good sense of taste, and you know a film set's not a democracy ultimately like it's not it's not let's vote on if this is dark enough or something it's, it doesn't come down to that it's like I, I feel like this is good do you feel the same no well let's discuss let's get it feeling right let's yeah. get it feeling so it's good um more often than not more often than not, actually in a lot of cases it's the director pushing to go slightly darker because again they understand mood and tone yeah um and it's a fine, it's such a fine line because you like, how how is one viewing this? Like, you know, I remember there was I, I did a film, I did Zero Dark Thirty a few years ago, and the end of Zero Dark Thirty is dark. That's the whole point, is it's dark until you, you get night vision. And I walked in and they'd lifted the entire movie in the theater. So I'm watching the entire well, I didn't actually I, I had to leave, but I, the entire first three quarters of the film was all lifted to account mm. i'm assuming for the end of the film so i couldn't watch it because to me it destroyed any mood or any kind of any feel that that you get watching the film so there's a fine balance and it it takes you know it takes a great collaborator director wise to 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 kind of work with levels of darkness obviously the whole film can't be like that you've got to have moments of clarity sure. like otherwise it's, but but you've got to then know when to pick your battles so you walked out of the theater you were that pissed I wasn't pissed i couldn't watch it yeah it just it wasn't what you intended no it wasn't the film that i made i don't want to watch that it didn't look good simple like yeah it was it, again i'm the conscious 
manifestation of a subconscious audience. Like I didn't get into the characters. Like I, I've watched that film now 50 times. I love that film. I couldn't not watch it because it was like, there's no mystery or not mystery. There was no, there was nothing to it. I was just, it wasn't good. 